Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bat Cave. Yesterday I received my 160L Batwing from Jazz Inc. Dioramas. I received it three days after it was shipped from the Netherlands all the way to Southern California. Super fast shipping. Huge shout out to Yost and his company and his family. It arrived uh, extremely well packaged. Nothing missing or broken. And I have a video just to talk about it. If anybody has any questions, feel free to comment below. This thing is huge. I knew it was going to be big. I saw the dimensions and the measurements. And uh, I'm still shocked every time I leave the room and walk back in at how huge this thing is. It is absolutely ginormous. The wingspan is about four feet. And uh, it's not a perfect circle, obviously, as you can see, um, but front to back is also almost four feet, just a few inches short. So it's about a four foot diameter. Yeah, I'm literally shocked every time I walk out of the room and then come back in. I ordered this about three years ago and wasn't even living in my house now at the time. I had a much smaller collection room. I didn't really plan ahead, but I knew I didn't want to miss out on this. I can't really imagine another six scale Batwing from 1989 Batman ever getting produced. For those of you getting it, I definitely recommend watching the Jazz Inc. Um, video, on, the instructional video on how to put it together. I watched it before once, and then I watched it once during um, when I put everything together. And I just kept pausing it. I actually did it alone. I didn't need uh, my wife to help me this time. Um, luckily, the foam packaging, you can kind of maneuver it and then place the bat wing upside down to screw in the legs. And uh, yeah, I was able to get it done in, alone in about a half hour. But I know uh, Je Yost, the owner of the company, definitely recommends using at least two people to unbox it. I guess I was just in a rush yesterday. So the legs get screwed on, but everything else is pretty much magnetic. All the wings and everything else. There's a, a thick metal bar inside each wing uh, to keep it from, from bending over time. And it is very, very sturdy. These guns and missiles are just magnetic. They attach very easily and I can't imagine them falling off at all. Same with the canopy, comes off pretty easily. Even one-handed I could do it. You can see there's decals and all kinds of light-up features and buttons inside the cockpit. That screen is a little hard to read on phone, but it says flight control manual. The targeting computer also comes out. Inside I have my Hot Toys DX09 Batman. And I normally would not put him inside. Uh, he's 10 years old and I wouldn't say fragile, just Never really was a lot of articulation with this figure. So it took a little bit of futzing to get him in there. And the only reason I was willing to do that and possibly damage it, because Hot Toys is releasing an updated version finally after a decade. The Scatling gun can be uh, in the position that it's in. Or you can have the compartment closed if you don't want it displayed. And like I said, these missiles are magnetic, so you, you don't have to display them either if you don't want to. They go on and off extremely easily. Well, there's no batteries needed for this item. It plugs into a wall. And all the LED lights are extremely bright. 
I have my Batman Returns Hot Toys figure for scale next to it. And hopefully that will help show just how big this thing is. It's a monster. And it's quickly becoming uh, my favorite item in the, in the whole collection. Which is saying a lot. I remember my mom took me to see this movie when I was a kid. Uh, for my sixth birthday, I had a birthday party, a swim party with some friends over, and then uh, we went and saw this movie, and uh, it was quite an experience for me. And here you can see the 89 Batmobile and a few other Batmobiles for scale. Don't judge me, they're, they're on the floor. I've got Maju Spaces on order, and they're actually... After almost a year and a half, they're on a boat, so hopefully they'll be here in just a few more weeks. They're going to cover that whole wall. But again, huge shout out to Yost and his company, Jazzy and Dioramas. They did a phenomenal job. I've actually ordered every 1-6 scale Batman vehicle that they've, that they've made and have on pre-order. And I feel like each, each item gets better and better in quality. Like I said, it was shipped from the Netherlands to California in three days. My plan is to hang this from the ceiling with some wires. You can also mount it to the wall. It came with uh, cardboard to show you where to, to place the uh, legs and, and drill into the wall. Um, but that's going to take up quite a bit of wall space, which I don't have a ton of. So my plan is to hang it from the ceiling this week. I'll probably upload another video after that's done. But again, thank you for watching. Feel free to comment with any questions. Let me know what you guys think. I know you all said that batch two is gonna be arriving uh, mid-April. So congrats to everybody else that's able to get this. Uh, Jazz Inc. has payment plans. And if you're interested, I, I highly, highly recommend this. It's great for any, any Batman fan, especially Keaton fans out there. Here's hoping that The Flash is a solid movie this summer. Okay, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.